Welcome to Road to Damascus. We're going to get into some, several scriptures today, and this is going to be talking about how um, the day of salvation is now. While we are still living on this earth, um, we need to seek the Lord while he may be found. And I want to start in the book of Isaiah in chapter 55, and this is verse 1 uh, through 7. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy, and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread, and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me. Hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you. The sure mercies of David, indeed, I have given him as a witness to my people, a leader and commander for the people. Surely you shall call um, a nation you do not know, and nations who do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God and the Holy One of Israel, for he is glorif has glorified you. Now, I want to go ahead and stop right there before I continue to read, and I want to go back here to where it talks about uh, coming and eating and buying wine and milk without money and without price and that just sort of hit me and I want to flip over to a scripture this is in John and this is chapter 4 verse 14 and this is Jesus speaking but whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life See, Jesus is the living water, and he is the bread from heaven. Um, there is a uh, type and shadow in um, the Old Testament where Moses, um, the people are in the wilderness with Moses after he has brought them out of Egypt, and there's manna from heaven every morning on the ground so they can have something to eat, and um, that is the type and shadow the sort of parallel of Jesus being the bread of life and if we eat of that bread and we drink of that water which is Jesus Christ himself um, and not literally but spiritually as long as we are in Christ um, then we will have eternal life so now I want to go on this is uh, verse I'm back in Isaiah 55 verse 6 and 7 seek the Lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. So, if we repent, and we turn from our wicked ways, and we turn to God, and we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior wholeheartedly, um, God will have mercy on us, and he will abundantly pardon us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us. So, um, and that is, uh, that's through the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Now that's the last in Isaiah, and I wanna go back over to John, and this is chapter three, um, and this is verse 33 through 36, and this is speaking of, um, of how you know today is the day of salvation that we don't get another chance once this body dies we have to repent and turn to Christ and accept him as Lord and Savior uh, while we can while the Lord may be found he who has received his testimony has certified that God is true for he whom God has sent speaks the words of God and uh, for God does not give the spirit by measure the Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, and he who does not believe in the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. So um, it is so important. It is so important for our eternity um, to put our faith in Jesus Christ and to accept him and not reject him so that we can have eternal life with God um, forever. And then I have one more scripture, and this is 2 Corinthians, and this is chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. We then, as workers together with him, and this is speaking of God, of Jesus, 
also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. So there it is, and there's much more scriptures on this subject. Um, you know, I just do a few. I try to keep these videos, you know, fairly short. Um, not that sometimes I don't go into, you know, a little bit more lengthy, but overall, I don't want to put too much into the videos so people lose track of, you know, what is uh, what is being taught, um, the scriptures that, you know, I'm reading, that we're listening to. I know in the past I've done some and I've had people come to me and say, it just seems to be a lot of reading of the scripture and um, less of the understanding and the application. And so with the scriptures I've given you today, I just want you to know that Jesus is coming back very, very soon. And today is the day of salvation. Today is the acceptable time. Um, seek God while he may be found. Seek him with your whole heart. You will not regret um, accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. It's a free gift. God doesn't wish that any should perish. And that is why we are still on this earth. That is why the Lord Jesus hasn't returned yet because the Lord doesn't wish that anyone should perish. And of course, his time frame, uh, the scriptures say a thousand day, uh, I mean, a thousand years is like a day and a day like a thousand years. So our time is different from God's time, or at least the way we perceive time. So um, just please, please, if you if you don't know Jesus, he came. He came and he died on the cross in the place of us because death is the penalty for sins and we are born sinners, every single one of us. And he died. He took our punishment and he died on that cross to pay that penalty for us because we could not pay it ourselves. And three days later, he is risen from the dead conquer death in the grave so that we can have eternal life so that we can be reconciled back to him back to our heavenly father and once you wholeheartedly seek him he will be found the scriptures tell us if you seek God with your whole heart he will be found you will be able to find him and he will come and live inside of you by the power of his holy spirit and you will become a new creation in Christ Jesus and um, it is just the most important thing, the most important decision that you could ever, ever make. So please, uh, just don't put that off. We, we don't know how many days we have here on earth individually. And we also know that the Lord is coming back very soon. So I hope you have a blessed day. And to my brothers and sisters out there, just hold steadfast in the faith. Fight that good fight. Put on the full armor of God and stand strong in these perilous times. I love you. God loves you so much more than I could ever fathom of loving you. Jesus died for us, and we should be thankful for that every single day of our lives. So, God willing, I will see you soon. May the peace of our Lord be with you. Shalom. Bye.